In this video, we will find the integral of 1 upon 1 plus hyperbolic cosine of x. So we know that hyperbolic cosine of x is equal to e to the power x plus e to the power minus x upon 2. So we have integral of 1 upon now we will multiply this 2 by 1 so we have 2 plus e to the power x plus e to the power minus x upon 2 now this fraction can be written as 2 upon e to the power x plus 2 plus e to the power minus x now this can also be written as integral of 2 upon e to the power x plus 2 plus e to the power minus x can be written as 1 upon e to the power x. Now we have 2 upon we can multiply the denominator by e to the power x so we have e to the power x square plus 2 times e to the power x plus 1 upon e to the power x and this can be written as 2 times e to the power x plus e to the power x square plus 2 times e to the power x plus 1 now let u is equal to e to the power x so the differential du is equal to e to the power x dx so this integral can be written as 2 upon in place of e to the power x we can put u so we have u square plus 2u plus 1 and e to the power x dx in place of e to the power x dx we can write du Now, u square plus 2u plus 1 can be written as u square plus 2u times 1 plus 2 and we can apply algebraic identity so this will become u plus 1 whole square. So we have 2 upon u plus 1 whole square du. Now we have integral of 2 upon u plus 1 whole square du. So let t is equal to u plus 1. So the differential dt is equal to du. So this can be written as integral of in place of u plus 1 we can write t so we have t square in the denominator and in place of du we can write dt now this integral can be written as 2 times integral of t raised to the power minus 2 dt now we use the power rule of integration that integral of t to the power n dt is equal to t raised to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c so we can apply this formula over here and we have t raised to the power minus 2 plus 1 upon minus 2 plus 1 plus c so we have 2 t raised to the power minus 1 upon minus 1 plus c and this can be written as minus 2 upon t plus c now we can put the value of u t over here so we have 2 upon u plus 1 plus c and in place of u we can put e to the power x plus 1 plus c so the required answer is minus 2 upon e to the power x plus 1 plus c where c is the constant of integration